It's a hobby and a side job that doesn't take me away from my family. Just your normal day. Brings us together. Family owned, made in the North State, truly defines Rock and H Cattle Company in Cottonwood. It all began when the Hill family started to eat their product instead of selling at the auction. We would sell what we didn't eat to other people and it kind of just took off from there. Even though Rock and H may be a side job right now, Kyle Hill has dreams of it growing. My biggest goal is just to be able to provide more beef to people who are looking for it. Right now we are constantly sold out. Uh, people are paying more attention to what they're eating, what they're putting in their bodies, so the demand's really high right now. No matter what industry, every business owner comes across some hurdles. Uh, we faced a big struggle the last few years with the drought. Uh, feed costs went through the roof because we didn't have the irrigated pastures that we usually have because we lost our ACID irrigation. So it's there's always going to be struggles in business. There are currently no USDA facilities in the North State, meaning cattle ranchers have to travel to get to one. Hill says some people are working on opening a facility in the area, which will help put more local beef in our stores. In March, the USDA changed which meat is labeled made in the USA, which was a big win for U.S. cattle ranchers. It used to be that as long as you made a change to the animal, so if it was brought over and then you butchered it, you could label it made in the USA. When it never was, it, it was raised someplace else. And there's, there's nothing wrong with beef raised other places, but they just don't have the standards that we do. But also, we, we need to support ourselves. We need to support local uh, families around here. We buy the grain that we finish from, from two different local granaries, buy local hay, everything that, that we put into the business, we try and keep as local as possible. Rock and H prides themselves on free range cattle fed non-GMO grain. The cows aren't given antibiotics or hormones, something they feel separates them from larger feedlots. A dream's only a dream until the hard work makes it reality. 